Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence this morning. We welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit in this prayer room today. Mighty God, we welcome you. We welcome your power. We welcome your dominion. We welcome your glory. We honor you today because you are God and beside you there is none. We honor your sovereignty. We thank you, mighty God, that you are God and beside you there is none. From the rising of the sun even to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Lord, this morning we thank you. We thank you for your hand of protection over our lives while we were sleeping. We thank you that you have been watching over us. All throughout this week, you watched over us. You, you protected us. You protected our loved ones from the hand of the evildoer. You covered us. And so we say thank you for your covering. Thank you for your covering. Thank you for your, your protection. Thank you for watching over us in the ark of safety. Thank you this morning. We are so grateful to you. We are so grateful for your love. We are so grateful for your protection. We are so grateful this morning. We are grateful we enter your gates with thanksgiving and we enter your courts with praise. We say thank you this morning. Thank you, God, that we have lived to see yet another day. Lord, so many people did not wake up this morning. And so this morning, God, the very first miracle that we are thankful for, it is the miracle of life. We are thankful for the miracle to see another day, the miracle of life. We opened our eyes and we breathe it in the breath of life. For this, we are thankful. We are so thankful. We are thankful this morning. We are thankful people. God, you give us life. And you have given us life more abundantly. Lord, there is food in our refrigerator. There is water so in our taps that we can drink. We have a roof over our house, over our heads. We have electricity. Lord, we have so many things that is necessary for a protected life, for a covered life, for a sheltered life. Lord, how could we be ungrateful? We say thank you. The miracle of life. The miracle of waking up to see another sunrise, we say thank you. The miracle of waking up to know that our families did not get shot last night, gunned down, murdered. Lord, we say thank you. We are so thankful this morning. We are so thankful to you, Lord. Thank you for the miracle of life, the miracle of life. The miracle of life, the miracle to be able to move around in our bodies. Though sometimes we may not feel well, some people may not feel so well in their bodies, we still can move around. We have flexibility in our joints. We can still get ourselves ready. We can still shower in the morning. We can still move around. The miracle of life, it's the miracle sometimes that is most overlooked. We are thankful. We are thankful this morning, Lord. We will not overlook the miracle of life. God, this morning I woke up and I was able to get ready. I was able to come downstairs. I was able to make a cup of tea. I was able to swallow that cup of tea. Lord, I'm thankful for my tonsils. I'm thankful for my throat. I'm thankful for my taste buds. I'm thankful that I don't have a high fever. I'm thankful this morning, Lord. I'm thankful for sight. 
I can open my eyes and see I'm thankful this morning. I'm so thankful that I have balance in my body and balance in my blood cells. I'm thankful this morning, God. Lord, it is only when someone is sick and they have recovered that a person can embrace the gift of health. And this morning, I am an embracer of the gift of health. I know what it is to be sick and I know what it is to be healed. And so this morning, I thank God for the gift of healing. I thank God for the miracle of health. Health in my bones, health in my spirit, health in my mind, health in my blood, health in my intestines, health in my body. My blood sugars are stabilized. Lord, I just decree the miracle of health over your people this morning. The miracle of healing is decreed today. The miracle of healing. The miracle of a healthy body is decreed over your people this morning. The miracle, the miracle, the miracle of health. The miracle of health this morning. We embrace the gift of healing. We embrace healing in our bodies. We embrace healing in our feet. We embrace healing. Lord, let every high blood pressure be stabilized. Lord, let every high blood sugars be stabilized. Let swelling of the arteries go down. Swelling of the body, let it go down. Swelling in the, in the tonsils, let it go down. Let every unusual swelling go down. Let everything that does not belong in the body, let it go down in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we embrace we embrace the healing balm of Gilead right now. We embrace your healing. We embrace the healing of the Lord this morning. Let everything, God, everything that does not belong in the body, let it be rebuked right now. Every pain of the belly, every pain of the ovaries, every pain of the tummy, every pain, every pain, let every pain go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And let complete healing come. Let complete healing begin to flow through the bodies of your people. For Lord, the body is the temple. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we are cleansing our temples this morning. I'm asking you, God, to cleanse the temples of your people. Cleanse the temples of your people this morning. Complete, complete, complete cleansing this morning. Complete cleansing. Cleanse every pain. Cleanse and remove everything in the body. Every foreign object. Every foreign swelling. Every cell that does not belong. Cleanse it and remove it by the power of the blood. Cleanse it and remove it. Cleanse it and remove it. Every cell that does not belong in the ovaries, in the gallbladders, in the liver, in the kidneys. Cleanse it and remove it. Remove it right now. Remove every contrary cell, every contrary swelling. Cleanse it and remove it right now by the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb, cleanse it and remove it. For you are the God that healed thee. You are the God that is healing this morning. You are healing, you are healing, you are healing high blood pressures. You are healing swelling of the foot, arthritis inflammation of the joints you are healing cleanse it and heal it remove every swelling of the body every swelling in the in the belly every swelling in the stomach lining every swelling every every illegal inflammatory disease cleanse it by the power of your blood and remove it cleanse and remove it right now god Cleanse and remove it. The miracle of healing. The miracle of healing be released over your people this morning. Cleanse and remove it right now. In the mighty name of Yeshua. Lord, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we want nothing that does not belong. We, have, we promise to take better care of our bodies this morning, Lord. 
we promise to eat better god help us to eat better help us to choose better foods help us to drink more water help us to eat more vegetables help us to eat more fruits help us to take better care of our bodies lord i pray this morning that you would remove the appetite for fried foods out of your people's digestive system remove that appetite from their taste buds remove that taste for fried foods remove that taste god for all those heavily oily foods remove that taste out of the taste buds of your people so that they can take better care of their bodies lord better care of the temple this is my prayer this morning my prayer this morning god is that the people of god will be empowered to take good care of their bodies they will take their vitamins they will take their supplements they will drink more lemon water they will drink more lime juices they will drink more um nutritious beverages and everything that is unhealthy lord i pray that you will just give them the knowledge and the understanding to remove it out of their bodies father i pray for the empowerment let divine empowerment come upon your people that they will make it a priority they will make it a priority to take care of their bodies to take care of their temples they will make it a priority to take care they take care of their vessels this morning in the mighty name of jesus lord give your people divine healing healing this morning god divine healing let divine healing flow this morning divine healing is flowing through the bodies of your people divine healing divine healing is flowing this morning god give your people divine healing from the crown of their head even to the very soles of their feet give your people divine healing flow god flow flow god this morning Heal God. Let healing flow, mighty God. Let healing flow, God. Let healing flow in every heart. Let healing flow this morning in every part of the body. Let healing flow. For the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so this morning, God, I decree and declare that you are opening up the taste buds of your people to eat more fruits i decree and declare you are opening up the taste buds of your people to eat more vegetables more salads more lettuces tomatoes and cucumbers mushrooms you are opening up the taste buds of your people for blueberries and strawberries and raspberries lord open up the taste buds of your people lord give them a divine a craving for healthy foods give your people a divine craving for nuts and walnuts and hazelnuts almond nuts almond milks give your people a divine taste bud for the things that are healthy that they can begin to restore their health they can restore their health let there be restoration of health restoration of health restoration of health this this morning restoration of healing divine restoration comes divine restoration comes this morning lord send healing i release healing angels to your people healing angels let the lord begin to heal every heart palpitation every problem of the heart let the lord begin to heal every headache unusual headaches unusual long pressing headaches migraine headaches let the lord begin to heal let the lord begin to heal neck ache and back pains right now i release divine healing unusual neck problems unusual neck pains out of nowhere these neck pains have come let the lord begin to heal complete healing complete healing 
Divine healing comes this morning. Let the Lord heal you. Let the Lord heal you this morning. Back pains, lower back pains, let the Lord heal. Pain in your joints, knee problems, foot problems. Let the Lord heal. I release divine healing to every part of your body right now. Every part of your body, let the Lord heal. Divine healing comes this morning by the precious blood of Yeshua. Divine healing. Divine healing is being released. Let the Lord heal. I just release divine angels this morning. Receive your portion of healing at the altar of prayer. Receive your portion of healing. It's not by might. It's not by power. But it's by the spirit of the living God. And the Lord says to tell you, I am healing your bodies this morning. I am healing you of all sicknesses. I am sending my angels of healing because there is work for you to do. Many of you, there is so much work for you to do that it will, it will blow your mind how much the Lord wants to use you. The Lord wants to heal you completely. Completely because your end time calling is great. Your end time assignment is great. There is an anointing flowing in this house this morning for healing. And the Lord says to tell you, just open your spirit to receive. Divine healing flows right now. Open your spirit to receive the healing of the Lord. Just receive, receive, receive right where you are, receive the healing of the Lord, receive the healing of the Lord, let the Lord heal you, let the Lord heal you right now, let the Lord heal you, let the Lord strengthen you, let the Lord grant you grace. Grace for healing, grace for daily exercise, grace for daily, daily routines to get your blood cells working, to loosen up your blood cells in the gym, to run at least 15 minutes a day, to walk at least 15 minutes a day. Let the Lord heal you, let the Lord heal you. Let the Lord empower you to take your vitamins, your daily supplements. Let the Lord give you grace to take your daily iron intakes, your iron supplements, your vitamin C supplements, your vitamin D supplements, vitamin E, your zinc intake. Let the Lord empower you this morning that you will not overlook supplements, you will not overlook your bodies, you will not run down your bodies. You will take good care of your health because as you age, your body begins to give you signs that you need to take care of your temple, the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so I just release divine miracles, the miracle of healing be released over your bodies, the miracle of knowledge be released over you that you will have knowledge exactly what you ought to do concerning your body, concerning your bodies. Let livers be healed, let kidneys be healed, let large intestines be healed, let small intestines be healed, let gallbladders be healed, let ovaries, ovaries be healed, let every part of your joints be healed, let blood, blood cells that are thickening, let it begin to thin out and loosen up itself right now. Let the healing of the Lord begin to flow right where you are. Begin to receive and pray in tongues. Pray in your heavenly language. The angels are moving. The angels are moving. Begin to pray in your heavenly language right where you are. Angels are moving. Satakayata. This morning I'm praying Isaiah 53 and 5 over your life. 
Isaiah 53 and 5. I am praying Isaiah 53 and 5 over your life so that we can drive in the stakes and seal in this prayer. We are going to seal in this prayer with Isaiah 53 and 5. If you have it, you can put it up. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. And so the Lord is releasing divine healing this morning. I want you to send the prayer room to the messengers of those that you know need healing. Send the prayer room into your groups. This prayer room is going to be a blessing to someone that needs divine healing this morning. This is the way that the Lord sends healing. It's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by the Spirit of the living God. It's the Lord that heals. There is such a divine healing in the prayer room on today. The presence of God is here. I am the God Receive your healing this morning. That healeth thee. Isaiah 53 I and 5. The Lord, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. The Lord is releasing divine healing this morning. Those of you who have family and loved ones, I want you to send a prayer in. Because the Lord is healing this morning. The Lord is healing. The Lord is even healing broken hearts this morning. Friends and family members that you know that are wounded in their spirits because of a broken heart. The Lord is healing broken hearts this morning. Women that are grieving for their husbands, the Lord is healing. The Lord is healing. God's name is more powerful than any disease you can name tonight. You might have received a horrible report from the doctors and told you your disease is incurable. But you know what? There's hope tonight. There is hope because God's promised that he would heal us. I want you to put his word on your lips tonight. Sing his word back to him. And see if his name isn't more powerful than cancer than heart disease or any disease that you can name tonight oh yes he's your healer let's sing it to him you are the God that healeth me you are the God that healeth me you are the God that healeth me let healing flow Lord Sata Karabaka Sata, complete healing. Divine healing is flowing. Soto Roboko Sata. Pray in your heavenly language. Sing it out. Sing to the Lord Church. Sata Karabaka Sata. Soto Roboko Sata Karabaka Sata. Complete healing. Complete healing. The Lord is healing. The Lord is healing. Let the Lord heal you. You sent you are the Lord, my healer. Soto roboko sata kaya sata kaya sata. Soto roboko sata kaya sata. Such a sweet presence of the Lord in the prayer room this morning. I want you to receive your divine healing. Receive your divine healing. The Lord is healing. 
the Lord is the Lord is doing what no man can do I want you to receive divine healing for your loved ones if you have loved ones you can begin to send their names up this morning on the prayer wall if you have loved ones that need healing you can begin to send up their names this morning and we're going to come into agreement we're coming into agreement for healing for every loved one every loved one that needs healing every person that needs a divine touch from the Lord divine healing is flowing in the prayer room on this morning I want you to receive that divine healing this morning it's by the hand of the Lord the Spirit of the Lord will touch them wherever they are the Lord is healing this morning there's nothing too difficult for the Lord to do. There's no sickness, no disease that the Lord cannot heal. I come into agreement for your family members, your loved ones, your sons and daughters. Those that have eating disorders, people that are not eating well, I come into agreement. Complete healing for every family member, all of our loved ones. Jesus will heal right now. Jesus is the healer. And he is the one that is healing. I come into complete agreement. Complete healing for Brittany and Kaylee. Complete healing in their hearts and in their souls. Every soul tie will be broken by right now by the power of Yeshua. Every soul tie is broken. Every wrong soul tie. And Lord, you will just bring them into total shalom shalom complete shalom over our daughters right now Kaylee and Brittany Mariah and Kaylee soul healing Lord I pray divine healing over Harry right now complete healing from the crown of his head to the sole of his very feet complete healing over Harry this morning you are healing Lord you are the healer it is by your stripes that we are healed. You took all those stripes on the cross so that your people can inherit divine healing. And so I release divine miracles. A miracle will locate our families today. A miracle is locating you today. Healing for Mommy Violet this morning. Healing for Wilfred. Wilfred and Shelly Ann and Stefan and Julian. Complete healing this morning comes to Elijah Bascom and Lincoln. I stand in agreement and I release divine miracles to Mommy Ava this morning. Healing will locate you today, Mommy Ava. Healing is locating Amia and Handel this morning. It's the hand of the Lord. It's the Lord is the one. He is the one. Jesus, Yeshua is the one. The healer is here this morning. <laughs> The healer is here this morning, and the healer is healing. Lord, I come into agreement for divine healing for Chandra Smith and Marcano. Divine healing for Dequan. Divine healing this morning for Claudette Charles. Let divine healing come to Mother Cynthia Wilson. Divine healing to Daniel and Shane and Sean and Indra and Bala. Divine healing for Charlene. Lord, I speak divine healing over Shauna, Lisa, Shondel, Sean. Heal their soul from a broken heart. Heal their soul from, from the struggle between their mommy and their daddy and the, the breakup of the family. Heal the soul of the children, God. Heal their soul. Let divine healing come this morning, Lord, and heal the soul of everyone that needs healing. Let divine healing begin to flow. I am the, God the Lord is healing this morning. Healing. Divine healing this morning. To Ashana. Healing for Shania and Ruprani and Diana Rampasad. Healing for Dwight. Complete healing this morning for Alicia. The Lord is healing. Healing for Mother Maul this morning and Mother Angie. I declare divine miracles will locate our mothers this morning. Every mother, every senior citizen 
represented under the sound of my voice. Divine healing will locate you today. Divine healing is locating you. Let the Lord locate you today. Divine healing locates you now. Complete healing. Sing it out, church. Divine healing. God's name is more powerful. Healing for Taran Bipat. Than any disease you can name tonight. Healing for Cliff. Complete healing for Pastor Khan from that surgery that he has taken. Complete healing in his prostrate. Angels will locate him and give him complete healing. Healing for every prostrate right now. Healing for Ravi. Healing this morning. Sing his words back to him. Sing it, saints. And see if his name isn't more powerful than cancer, than heart disease, or any disease that you can name tonight. Oh yes, he's your healer. Let's, Let's sing, sing it, to it to You are the God. That you are the God. You are the God. Sing it out, church. You are, you are the Lord, my healer. My healer. Oh hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, I pray healing for felons, Patrice, Christoph. Let Christoph eat more healthy foods. Healing for Spencer, Harrison. Complete healing for Prophet Ansel. From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Complete healing this morning. For all the prophets of God that we love and we care for, complete healing. Complete healing for Nicholas and Joanne, Brian and Quinn, Roslyn, Lorna, Merle, Isaiah, and the rest of the family. Healing from diabetes, healing from cognitive heart failure, healing from cancer. Let the Lord locate every eye and bring restoration of eyesight this morning. Healing for eyes and circulation of faith, love, healing. Let the Lord locate you. Miracles are locating you. The Lord is the one that is healing. He is the one. The Lord is healing. It is the Lord that is healing. Jesus is the one that is healing. Healing for Anne Marie. Healing for Mommy Florence. Kelvin, Uncle David. Healing for Dora. Healing this morning. Healing for Shana. Healing for Hannah. Healing for James this morning. Father James, Daddy James. I send a miracle to Daddy James. I release miracles this morning to Simone and Iola. I release the healing of the Lord. Divine healing this morning to Apostle and family. Healing this morning. Healing for Christine from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Divine healing this morning comes. Divine healing flows this morning. Healing to every broken heart. Everyone with a broken heart receive divine healing. Release your divine angels of healing this morning, Lord. You are the Lord. Heal this morning, God. Healing for Susie Scott Hoffman. I come into agreement with healing for Joseph Tangwell. Complete healing for Richardson. Complete healing for Apostle Napolina Richardson. Complete healing for Nicholas this morning. Complete healing this morning for everyone that needs healing. Healing for Rose Muhammad. Healing. Satakaya Tata Baka Sata. 
healing for Patsy and Squires, healing for kids, Daddy Bernard, healing, healing, complete healing, Lord, complete healing, divine healing flows this morning, divine healing flows, complete healing to every person, angels are locating us, angels are locating us, hallelujah, 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 glory to God, <laughs> angels are locating us this morning, angels are locating us this morning, angels will locate you today, Angels will locate you today. I see so many angels of healing leaving this prayer room. Angels will locate you today. Angels on every side. So many angels. I just want to allow the angels a chance to begin to pour out healing oils. I see angels leaving the prayer room today. Angels are entering into your homes right now. I just release angels into your homes angels into your prayer rooms i release angels into your houses of prayer i see angels with vials of oils and angels are just pouring that oil upon your head i see healing oils being poured out the balm of gilead the oils of gilead are being poured out this morning just receive divine healing Receive that healing right where you are. I come into agreement. Divine healing. Miracles are locating us. The oils of Gilead is being poured out right where you are. Just receive that oil. Receive the oils of Gilead, the healing oils. Healing angels have come this morning. Receive your portion. I'm just allowing those angels to minister to your bodies right now. I see those angels ministering to your bodies. Angels are working surgeries right now. Supernatural surgeries are being worked on your bodies right where you are. Angels are doing supernatural surgeries supernatural surgeries after this broadcast many of you will find that you have been completely healed complete healing i release those angels into your homes right now angels of healing angels of healing the lord is healing I just declare and I come into agreement with the Holy Spirit. Let the Lord do it. Let the Lord do it. Just receive your portion. All you have to do is receive. According to your faith, be it unto you. Receive divine healing. A miracle is locating you today, right where you are. Miracles, miracles, miracles are being released from the throne of heaven. Miracles this morning. I just receive, Lord, divine miracles. I receive my portion. Angels are entering in right now. And they are anointing the people of God. Angels are anointing you from the crown of your head to the very soles of your feet. 
angels are anointing you. There is such a strong company of angels in the prayer room today. Just receive your portion. Receive your portion of divine healing. The miracles, miracles are being worked out right now as you sit on that bed, as you lay on that living room sofa, as you sit in your cars, on your jobs, right there as you sit in your prayer rooms. I see the angel of the Lord working a divine miracle in your favor. Just receive your portion right where you are. It's a day of miracles. It's a day of miracles. And your miracle will locate you today. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind what the Lord is getting ready to do. It's going to blow your mind. I want you to receive it by faith. Receive it by faith. It's going to blow your mind. We can never begin to figure out God. But I can guarantee you this. It's going to blow your mind. What the Lord is getting ready to do. In you. Through you. And for you. I want you to pray in your heavenly language. Let this Holy Spirit begin to make intercession through you. The Holy Spirit is doing something new today. Just begin to pray in your heavenly language and you will... We may not understand the words, but the Holy Spirit is making intercession and declarations through your spirit this morning. Pray in your holy language. Pray in your holy language. As you pray in your holy language, you are driving in the stakes. As you pray in your holy language, you are driving in the stakes. You are dismantling the darkness. You are dismantling devils. I see you pushing against limitations. I see you pushing back the forces of darkness. As you pray in your heavenly language, you are cutting through the powers of darkness. You are uprooting. You are pulling up. You are dismantling every evil force. You are throwing down. You are overthrowing the powers of darkness. You are trampling over serpents you are trampling over scorpions as you pray in your heavenly language something prophetic is happening something prophetic is happening you are shifting the atmosphere we are shifting the atmosphere the heavens are shifting and we are creating a highway of glory the highway of glory the highway of glory let the Lord do it let the Lord do it I'm going to continue to allow the angels to work and then I'm getting ready to bring on our morning devotion what a powerful, powerful morning in the throne room of God. And now I seal all these prayers and these declarations under the precious blood of Yeshua. And I call it done in Yeshua's mighty name. Amen and amen. I seal these prayers with Isaiah 53 and 5. Amen.
Control over. 
mathematician can calculate him. No one can defeat him, and no scientist can explain him away. He will never be weary, and he will never be faint. The sky thunders when he speaks, and the heavens roar with the rain. He's far above all principalities and power, all might and dominion, and every name that is invoked. All authority comes from God, and his understanding is without measure. The odds you are facing may be stacked against you, but remember this God that I have described is yours. And if this mighty God is for you, who can be against you? He loved you so much, he sent his only begotten son to die on your behalf so that you might have eternal life. You have the ability to do all things through Christ who gives you strength. You have what it takes to make it, regardless of the problems you may be facing. God has already given you the resources to solve that problem you are facing. And if you don't have it, ask it of him. He said in his word, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. Is anything too difficult for the Lord? Remember that with God, all things are possible. For what God has planned for you, who can frustrate it? And as for his outstretched hand, who can turn it back? There is none like him. He is great and great is his name. Two things you need to believe in. The first, you need to believe in God. Believe in his power, believe in his word. And second, believe in you. If God believes in you, what right do you have to doubt the ability God has given you? God has invested the blood of Jesus in you. Recognize your value just as God recognized your value. Look in the mirror and examine yourself. What do you believe about yourself? Do you believe you're good enough? As a man thinketh, so is he. If you believe you don't have what it takes, you won't accomplish it. But whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Remember what Jesus said in Mark 9, 23. All things are possible to him who believes. From the moment you gave your life to Christ, you are a new creature. You became a new creation. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, Therefore, any, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, new has come. It's in Jesus Christ where your sins are forgiven. It's in Jesus Christ where your hurting heart is healed. It's in Jesus Christ where broken families are healed. It's in Jesus Christ where broken marriages are repaired. It's in Jesus Christ where cowards become conquerors. It's in Jesus Christ where victims become victors. It's in Jesus Christ where losers become winners. It's in Jesus Christ where dreams become reality. All things are possible to him that believes it. The Bible says in all things, you are more than a conqueror. Child of God, you are more than a conqueror. Whatever problem you are facing, keep fighting. Remember, you are more than a conqueror through him that loves you. There are times when problems come and there seems to be no answer, no way out. And in those situations, I hear the voice of Jesus say, Fight the good fight of faith. You see, faith can move the largest mountains. I've seen faith laugh at the face of defeat. According to the Bible, we are supposed to be a perpetually victorious people. We don't always feel like it. We don't always live like it. But the Bible said, we are supposed to have an attitude of victory. Romans 8, 37. Yet in all things, you are more than conquerors through Christ who strengthens you. A conqueror is an overcomer. So effectively, what Paul is saying is you will overcome whatever situation you face in life. Paul wants to remind you that you are not only conquerors, we are more than conquerors. We are not only overcomers, we are more than overcomers. Despite the problems you face, 
despite your circumstances, you face. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than an overcomer. You might not feel like a conqueror today, but the Bible says you are more than a conqueror. Your peace might be gone. Your world might be rocked, but you are more than a conqueror. Things may not be going well in your life, but the Bible says you are more than an overcomer. You may have more month than you have money, but you are more than an overcomer. You may be under pressure, but you are more than an overcomer. You may be stressed from all sides, but you are more than an overcomer. No matter what you are going through, God has said you are more than an overcomer because I am with you in it. You never know how strong you are until it's your only choice. Fight the good fight of faith. Most things in life require fighting for. You have to fight to have faith. You have to fight to have hope. You have to fight things that try to weigh you down. You have to fight the fear. You have to fight the doubt. Fight the good fight of faith. God is working behind the scenes. He has already turned your situation around. God is working behind the scenes. He has already turned your situation around. It is just a matter of time until you see the change in your life. God is saying to you today, trust me, I know the future better than you know your past or present. And all things work together for the good of them that loved me and that are called to my name. You see, in life, it's not what odds are against you. It's not what enemies are against you. It's not what situation or problem is against you. The only thing that matters is who is for you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? That means stuff that should normally worry you, that should normally overcome you for some reason, it can't harm you. It can't take away your peace. And the reason it can't do this is because God is for you. Trust Him. Trust Him. Now the amazing thing about the human conscience is this. That even if you don't believe what I'm saying, you believe what I'm saying. That even if you reject the truth of what I'm saying, there is rooted inside you a conviction which you can suppress with the years, but which is there nonetheless, which is telling you that these things are so. And this truth is the truth which the scripture will not let us forget.
Wow, what a powerful morning of prayer, intercessions, praises, worshipping, declarations. I want to say thank you so much for locking shields with me at the altar of prayer today. Thank you to everyone, all the pastors, all the prophets, all the apostles, all the moms and dads. Thank you so much for connecting with us all week long, praying with us every morning at the altar of prayer. I just speak the blessings of the Lord over your life. I speak increase. I speak favor. I speak open heavens. And I decree and declare your miracle will locate you today. Your miracle of healing. Your miracle of breakthrough. Your miracle of financial increase. Your miracle of open doors. Your miracle of family restoration. Your miracle of soul healing. Your miracles are locating you today. Hallelujah. So this is Anna Edwards. And I want to say have a blessed day. Have a joyful day. Have a rewarding day. And have a rich and conquering day. In Yeshua's name. Amen. You can catch me this evening. I'll be on right here again at 7 p.m. Shalom everyone. Share the prayer room. And tag me on someone.